Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Last weekend I got the final edits back on State, the short story collection I'm releasing towards the start of next month. And earlier this week my editor contacted me to say that they really liked the stories before they did the edits and they'd like to tell people how great a book it was going to be and but they weren't sure about whether they should do that or whether they should keep silent. Now, obviously, if you are involved in a project, then there is potentially a bias. But does that mean that you shouldn't talk about it at all? My thought is, no, it doesn't. That you should be free to express your honest opinion on something in exactly the same way that you should be free to express your honest opinion about something you're utterly unconnected with. Now, obviously, at one end of the spectrum, authors shouldn't necessarily be spending all of their time telling people how great their book is. Not because they can't be right about their book being great, but because there is such a high level of redundancy there. No author is going to release a book that they think isn't worth reading. But for anyone else involved in the project, the editor, the cover designer, and so forth, yes, they're biased, but if they declare that bias, people can make up their own minds. If you say, I thought the cover to this book was really great and I got to see it early because I did the typesetting for the inner, well, yes, you're connected to the project, but you aren't actually profiting from the cover or from potentially sales of the book if you've been paid a lump sum for typesetting, as probably you would have been. And so your involvement is something that people can mostly disregard. Then, editor, you've got a greater involvement in the sales potentially. If people read the book, the editor is one of the reasons why they'll hopefully think it's a good book. But that doesn't mean that if you say, I thought the story was really engaging, or I thought the ideas were really interesting, that that's not an honest opinion, that people can't disregard the fact that you did the copy editing and go, oh, uh, those semicolons are why the story is engaging. They're just trying to sell their semicolon placement services. So if you state it in advance, then people can make up their own mind. The same with reviewing books. If you are closely connected with an author's career, then potentially reviewing their books might be a slight conflict of interest, which is why Simon Canton and I don't review each other's books, despite having met because I reviewed his books. And But that doesn't mean that his opinion on whether my solo projects are good or bad is in any way wrong. It just means that there's too much of a connection for it to be worth putting it out there because people will have too hard a time unpicking whether he is biased or not. But for someone with a slightly smaller connection, someone who sends me a book because they've known me for several years and they know that 
I review books. So they say, I've published this book. Do you want a free copy for an honest review? It's like, well, yes, it's fine for me to post the review as long as I say, I've known this person for some time. I've received a free copy in exchange for an honest review. People can make up their minds whether the review I've posted is more favorable because I know this person. They can decide, well, maybe before I take this at face value, I need to look at other reviews. Similarly, if you receive a book from a stranger in exchange for a honest review, if you declare it at the end, people know that potentially you would have been slightly more favorable because you got the book for free. But by declaring it, they get the opportunity to make up their own minds. Now, being a lawyer, I like to err on the side of full disclosure. So sometimes I'll declare something that probably most people wouldn't consider was a source of bias, that I received a book for free with no obligation to review. So that if someone thinks, well, you might have been very slightly influenced by the fact that you didn't have to pay for the book, they can take that into account. Or people can choose to disregard it and decide, well, if you get a book for free, but no one gave it to you in exchange for a review, there is no conflict of interest there at all that we need to care about. But what about you? Where do you draw the line? What is or isn't something you need to declare if you have an interest in a project? What is or isn't the dividing line between when you can can praise something that you genuinely like and when you have to keep silent because there is too much of a conflict for it to be worth you expressing your opinion. Tell me in the comments below.